Hey, come on, guys. Let's play. Hey, what's up, Rockflock? This is the Master Gamer, Rockhawk64, welcoming you back to Let's Play Earthbound Blind. In the last episode, we started to make our way to Peaceful Rest Valley, and, uh... Well, I died, and ended all the way back up in one end, so... This episode, we are going to forge on to new paths, but first of all, you can see I've decided to arbitrarily spout a mushroom from my head. Nah. Yeah, that's... That's, that's actually not what happened. Uh, what actually happened was, I was... Uh, on my way... Oh, God. <clears throat> Hang on. Anyways, um, so I was making my way back down here. And what happened is I got hit by one of these like I was fighting I was fighting a rambling mushroom that decided it wanted to attack me. And it spread its spores all over me, so now sometimes my controls go all wonky and sometimes I'll attack myself. Because reasons. y'all aren't gonna activate. Uh, see, like, right there! It just fucking arbitrarily changes my controls whenever it fucking feels like it. <clears throat> I had to do a little bit of research onto this on my own, because I'm not gonna walk around an entire episode like this. And I found out that I have- that I can talk to this lady over here, and she'll cure it for me. Why do I have two travel charms? I need to sell that one. But for right now... You're hunting for mushrooms. Hey, would you be willing to sell that mushroom on your head for 50 bucks? Fuck yeah, I would. Thank you, such a great mushroom. I'm so happy I got it. I'm so happy to get rid of the damn thing. So, you guys remember last episode, I was having issues with a bunch of trees. Turns out that I should probably avoid fighting those things because there's a potential glitch that can be caused by them or something. And, you know, plus the fact that they blow up in my face. Okay, y'all are just gonna stay there. That's fine by me. Why am I at to the next level anyway? 751 EXP. We'll probably level up this episode. So yeah, pretty much, I'm probably going to be running from any battle with those trees. God, you tried your damnedest to get to me, didn't you? You know, I wish these fuckers would quit trying to steal my PSI. I wish these fuckers would quit stealing my PSI, because I, 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 I greatly enjoy having that. Oh, speaking of that, let me actually use life up here. And then, magic butterfly! Woo! Because apparently magic and PSI are the same thing. I know I'm calling it PSI, and I should probably call it, like, PP, like the game does, but... Do I trust this diamond? Let's see what this is. I haven't bought one of these yet. Spinning Robo? Did I make a mistake? Maybe not. Oh, fuck your shield. You know what? Two can play at this game. Noise! Now bash its face in! Oh ho 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 ho! Smash attack! To the face! And there we go. I have just created the best kind of enemy, which is a dead enemy. Because everyone knows that the best enemies are dead enemies. You guys are moving! Nope! Nope! Oh, what? I managed to get a beneficial attack? Whatever! It's an extra- that's, that's an extra T-Bat to the face. Dead enemy. Those are the best ones. Level 18. 
Offense 1, Luck 1, HP 3, PP 1. PSI Flash Alpha. Hmm. Ooh, it's an offensive PSI. Strong flash can make the enemy start crying uncontrollably and, <laughs> uncontrollably and in some circumstances feel strange. Okay, so... I just feel like I'm wandering around here with no purpose. And what I should be doing is making my way over here... No! Oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna smash you because I want to get the fuck away from that thing. Whoops, I keep talking over these battles. I have got to stop doing that if I plan on cutting them out. I wonder who made this bridge impossible. Why would someone do this? Crud. Hey, you know what? Come here, butterfly. Thank you. I like that neat little sound effect. Oh god, my game is hiccuping here and there. Das ist nicht gut. Okay, so... Just walking around, enjoying this ominous music. Oh god, things want to kill me. Hi! I win! He kept giving me colds! I know y'all might consider this a frivolous waste of, p of PP, but with all these butterflies around, I say who gives a shit. I think I'm more into exploring this place than I- Ooh! I'm actually kind of glad I went exploring. A hard hat. Must be equipped as other. Should be worn when searching for buried treasure or while you're at the construction sites. Oh, I see. <clears throat> this will actually help my defense. So, yes. There we go. No! Thank you! God damn. Oh, what's this place over here? This looks like a place. And another fucking cave, are you kidding me? No, 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 If I trust this cave, guys. There are snakes in here. Snakes that like to run for me, apparently. Oh! That would be why they like to run. What the fuck is this place? Welcome to Happy Happy Village. I'm not your enemy, I'm just a plain old bull. You are certainly stronger than while you were wandering around one end. Have you ever suddenly gotten the message you, the you won message when you met a weak enemy? That's a surefire proof that you've become stronger. You don't want to waste your time fighting wimpy enemies, do you? Indeed I do not. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Oh, what? Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. No. Oh god. You are legitimately following me everywhere. And now you're not. Blue, blue, I wish for everything in this world to become blue. What? The hell? 
I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. We trust you, feel free to shop here. No tanks. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place Lilliput Steps and it makes them feel uneasy. Okay. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. And I can't even go near that place. Blue Blue Drug Store. Okay, what's this here? Oh! Those are... I was just trying to figure out what the hell I was staring at. The Insane Cultists. Let's try PSI Flash Out. A paint attack. Ow. Wait, PAINTING HURTS ME?! So wait, what does PSI Flash do again, then, if it... Yeah, no one's gonna come to this cave. Good! Stop it. Oh, shit! Speak <laughs> right when I say that! And now you're dead. I will bash all the faces in, because the best enemies are the dead ones. Is this where Paula is? I bet you this is where Paula is. Whoa! These must be stronger crows or something. Spiteful crow. Oh yeah, these guys have got to be more powerful. Ow! Hey! Those are my eyes! I need those! Wait, what? They attacked me, and they're that weak. I think it's because there was two of them. But they came at me! Why, Why would they do that? Why? Oh, are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpainter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpainter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Thanks. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpainter. Don't worry about me, just kick butt like I know you can. I will team out all the faces in for you, Paula! But for now, um, what exactly does this- I mean, I know a little bit about the Franklin Badge, but what does it do? By keeping it as one of your items, it deflects a lightning attack back at the attacker. Convenient. Awfully convenient. Oh. <clears throat> Hey, Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey since Mr. Carpainter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. Yeah, his voice changed because now he's a creepy cultist, apparently. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Okay. Spiteful Crow, I don't think he's going to be doing much of anything. Oh shit, I smashed his face in. Oh, you're trying to steal my shit? No tanks. Get your face out of here. Oh, well, I didn't want to attack Tulta's C, but whatever. They are tr they, they realize the futility of fighting me and are trying to call for backup. It is not working out well for them. Get out of here! I will teabat in all of the faces. Let's get back to this car painter guy and sh teach him a thing or two about pain! Get your coldest asses over here. 
I win. <clears throat> I'm level 19. Cool. Offense 1, defense 1, speed 1, guts 1, IQ 1, HP 2, PP 3. Not bad. Five HP, please. That didn't offset nearly. What have you got in here? Oh, you're literally just a drugstore. I don't like the music of this place. I really don't. They even painted the fucking trees blue. I'm not busy right now. No. Oh, you may not believe it, I'm a healer. You have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. No. Hmm. Back one necessary. <clears throat> yeah, this place is totally not creepy at all. Um, we're gonna end the episode off here, guys. Uh, so, next episode, we will find this car painter guy and we will teabat his face in and we will rescue Paula and all will be well. I will teabat in all the faces for Paula. Anyways! It's been RockHawk64, bringing you Let's Play Earthbound Blind. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, like I said, next episode, we go rescue Paula. So, until then, guys, just remember to keep on gaming, and rock on. Peace out.